Yeah. And this is where you want us? Uh, yeah. It's right. You'll be better lit over next there. Next to your name. Reverse the stage if we're on the stage. That's the point. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> we okay. We're not that scary, are we? Yes, we are. I mean, come closer, come closer, my darlings. No, does, <laughs> does this panel have a splash zone? <laughs> Gallagher <laughs> report. <laughs> 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 I would really no. hope you guys made sure to bring your nice little paper bags. Well, <laughs> yeah, you mean the, the plastic them. ponchos? No, 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 I mean the paper bags because you're going to be this? vomiting all over the place. Nice. Oh, wow, nice. I was not informed of the level of this You went to a different panel. place with that. Yeah, I moved well, it's mostly yeah. because I meant to say plastic and I said paper instead. Are we talking about We are technified enough to ready. Wait, I got <laughs> what you do? I want to make sure it's recording. Well, yeah, pressing the record button helps. Right, that, yeah, that, that, yes, <laughs> that's being <laughs> important. Is that a steady red We're being graded. light? Yes. <laughs> Don't grade it. It is, it a, is steady a steady red, red light. light. That means it is recording. No, it is. We turned our paper curve. in 25 years. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we potting? Ah, ah. Where's the theme song? You got a theme song? We, oh, oh, I got a kazoo. Wait, do we have a We used to have a kazoo, but you have a flash. Are you gonna I can't wait a minute? Are you gonna wait a minute? <laughs> no, we're not gonna don't know. No, just put it in. Forget about we'll put it it'll be edited in with the magic of editing. It's called post production. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can fix it in post. No, 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 I have it on my phone. Oh Christ. Oh. We're really not gonna sit here and listen to like a full minute of this, aren't we? No. Thank God. Okay, anyway, let's start. All right, anyway, just... hi, welcome to First Issue. <laughs> this is uh, the Web Comic Beacon Presents First Issue. Oh, Christ. Dan, Dan, Dan. You can find out, uh, this is basically uh, a review, sh a video review show we started last September when the new, new 52 from DC Comics came out. I had the brilliant idea. We're going to review every single first issue from the DC Comics, and I'll get it all done in a month. Yeah, that didn't happen. Eight <laughs> months later, I learned how much editing uh, really takes to do. <laughs> but uh, you fool! That I'm considering all of that season one. We've had a really good uh, time reviewing. Season. Uh, really surprised by uh, some of the titles of how good some were, and then just appalled by the ones that were bad. But uh, since then, we've we've tried to uh, to get started on season two. Uh, episode three just went up. I should be working on episode four soon. This will probably end up being episode five, and I'm Fess. I'm, I'm Melissa. And I'm Marcus. You didn't warn me. Yeah, and okay. <laughs> also the, the, the point is not so much reviewing comics in general, so much as reviewing the first issue of them and seeing how they work as a first issue, whether they give you enough information to actually you know want to read the second and to understand the context of what's going on. Um, whether or not we like it might be a completely different th question as to whether or not you know it makes a good first issue. And that is uh, that's absolutely true. As uh, as Melissa knows, a lot of people including Christopher Jones I, over there. <laughs> um, it, we were trying to come up with some comics that we could review for Convergence, and uh, we, we found one called awesome. Street Heroes 2005. The, the very first professional comic done, drawn by Christopher Jones. Hi. In, in the, Hi. I, I'd, I'd like to note it was published in 1989, correct? Huh. It came out in 88. <laughs> <laughs> it says January 1989, right there. So that's because it's always... Fine, 89. All right. 89. And we also have the writer, started. who is also Jones. We got yeah. Christopher Jones. And Stephen Jones. And Stephen... Yeah, Stephen yes. Philip Jones. <laughs> yes. Wait, any relation? Uh, I know the audience. None. No. no. Oh, crazy. <laughs> I'm a professional writer. Yes. <laughs> and so when I came up to these two gentlemen at at SpringCon, I was like, <laughs> and, and they and away. they promptly hid under the table. Yes. Oh, that wasn't that. Bad. Oh, it's no. not. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it is. Spoilers. Well, we'll, spoilers. We'll get into this more. But uh, so, but you know, as even though they're here, they're, we're going to be pulling no punches in this review. Oh, really? That Neither was are we. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so first off, I do notice that this cover, yeah, that's showing up over there, right? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. This cover uh, is actually colored by Bruce, Bruce Tim. Tim. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what was it like working with Bruce Tim? He wasn't Bruce Tim yet. 
Um, well, he was staying at your house, if I remember right. Yeah, well, yeah, we were up late playing poker, and, uh, no. No! Um, <laughs> I, I, not only did I not know Bruce Tim, but I had no reason to see any significance in someone named Bruce Tim at that time. I did this cover, which at the time I thought was being so clever and sophisticated, and, oh, we will do a dignified portrait shot of our protagonist rather than something full of action that might make you want to actually read the story. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, uh, I did that breathtaking illustration that you see there and, uh, you know, submitted the black and white on the projector. Yes, submitted the black and white artwork to okay. the publisher and they assigned it to a staff Colorist, who is credited here as Bruce W. Tim, I believe, on the inside cover. Yep. And it wasn't until years later that I noticed that, and I was like, is, is that the same Bruce Tim who's now producing Batman the Animated <laughs> Series? <laughs> and I asked, and I found out, yes, it was. And it wasn't until years later that I had the opportunity to go up to Bruce Tim doing a signing at a large convention, and had him sign my copy of this issue. <laughs> I cannot express to you how delighted he was <laughs> to have this fine example of his early work presented to him. Yeah. Did he promptly crawl under the table like you guys did? He did sure. not, but he, uh, he, he, he signed it as requested, and, and then I got a separate little card in which he drew his, uh, his 10 second Batman head that he draws for people when he does, signs things at conventions. <laughs> and in addition to signing it for me, he did a little dialogue balloon say, ha, ha, that featured Batman saying, Eternity Comics, bah. <laughs> but still, it's still like six degrees of, of, of separation. In the co- Wait, who is the Kevin Bacon of the comic book world? There's quite a few people, actually, you could probably put into that. Uh, what era are we talking about? If you're talking about the 60s, just uh, Jack Kirby. Well, you don't really work with Jack Kirby. And see, Kevin Bacon's still working, is the thing. And people yeah, can Jack still... Ke- Kirby's might be kind of Stan. Dead. Yeah, he's kind of dead. Well, Stan Lee, yeah, it's... Considering if you friggin' touch uh, Boom Studios, you're at least two degrees of separation from him. I'm, what are we I talking thinking, about this far? I was thinking Mark, Mark Evan Ears, the Kevin Bacon of... Oh, that's a close one. Interesting. That's interesting. One. interesting. Yes, yeah. yes. So anyway, all right. Back Street to the Heroes, he, he 2005. Street Heroes, 2005. Street Heroes, 2005. The futuristic year of 2005. There's a new yes. breed of criminal. But I love the the big 80s mustaches these guys have. It's so... Oh, yeah. It's so, like, old school macho. It's, it's <laughs> the kind of thing you'd never see anymore. And well, you're starting to see it now in the world of hipsterism, but well, that doesn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's different. That's, that, it, that's ironic. Yeah, this is this is unironically <laughs> just like who cares? We love this man. Mm-hmm. Burt Reynolds is freaking god. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a ringtone for that. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, All right. So. All right. Hey. Ah, hey. Speaking of the ringtone. <laughs> All right. So. It's got the Magnum PI theme. theme. It can be our soundtrack. Uh, we, we haven't done anything like this live before, so we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, usually uh, it'll take just, like three or four takes, so... Yeah, no, we're just no, going to see what we can do. So, <laughs> starting, so jumping well, right so in, well. Night Shift, March 20th, 2005. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd like to note that I actually know what I was doing on March 20th, 2005. What? <laughs> Why? I was, I was working on websites all day, and then I watched the Battlestar Galactica pilot which I thought was better Pirate. than recent uh, Star Wars Trek films at the time, and uh, the recent Star Wars films, which are still yeah. crappy. <laughs> but the but the night before, uh, Chris and I had actually watched Shriek of the Mutilated before. Oh, that was the night I showed you Shriek of the that's Mutilated. That's a good night. That's a good night. Yeah, good that was film. a good night. <laughs> All right. So, Shriek of the Mutilated. This was quite interesting. Shriek of the Mutilated. That, that's a whole other panel. That's yeah, a whole other panel. In January, in 1990, <laughs> in 1988, did you? <laughs> I never think that by the time this came out, it'd be sick. Uh, well, that night I was no. Um, <laughs> you didn't think about it. This is the day. You're all right, all right. So, no, so we, anyway. we knew we were doing something that was set in a, a near future and not a far future. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I anticipated that we'd be on the other side of that date quite as quickly as it felt. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, one thing I thought was really interesting, and I kind of wish it had gone. Um, like into the second page here is the RE policeman and superheroes article 
that you guys wrote. Oh um, yeah, no. it's yeah. It, it begins on the on the very the inside cover, and then it continues. It continues on page like, twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. It's a little mm-hmm. introduction, kind of like how um, you know policemen are rightfully viewed with a great amount of suspicion, and how they tend to you know bring that back upon um, the people that they serve, theoretically. And it's pretty neat in that it uh, makes the argument here, and that's something that I noticed having not finished this article. I, I read it completely oh, in chronological order. It must have been a good article you didn't finish. Well, <laughs> oh. I, I, I was just, it was in chronological order. Dude, the order. writer's right there. I don't know. I, I finished it eventually, but <laughs> what I thought was cool <laughs> was that I, I noticed what you're doing in terms of all the characters not necessarily being good or evil with no clear... Um, like black and white morality, and then when it, I read the rest of the article at the end of it, and saw that was intentional, I thought that was actually very cool because it's something that I did notice throughout um, reading the book itself, and didn't need to be explained to me necessarily. It was it came out very well. So that's something that I wanted to just kind of touch on because mm-hmm. it does inform the rest of this book. Uh, just because reading it, you you do kind of notice that these characters don't necessarily have a clear black or white, good or evil sort of um, uh, definition. Mm-hmm. And without knowing that that's intentional, it might come off a little bit odd. But Kind of ironic in a black and white comic. Hey! <laughs> All right, walk into that one. All right, so in <laughs> Kingston, <laughs> Iowa... Kingston, the the vast urban center of Kingston, Iowa. I've yes. never been there. Maybe it is. Um, <laughs> in a warehouse on the docks, a dirty deal is going down. Where did you come up with this? I'm sorry. What? 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 You got a deal going down on the docks. In, in, a, in a warehouse. The docks Some of sure. Iowa. Well, there's a dock right there. <laughs> oh. I, I, water sure. I totally missed that one. No, but seriously. No, we got... Uh, That's cool, man. Um, basically, there, I've seen lakes in Iowa. That's... What? That's true. It what? I can't it, try to make it. This is realistic as <laughs> Riverside, Iowa, is in the last Star Trek film. All right. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> true. No, but we do have a dirty deal going down in a warehouse on on, on the docks in Iowa. Yeah, we're uh, shit. Off of a river, possibly. Possibly. Um, but uh, <laughs> basically, the cops are all in position. This is more or less a sting operation, and uh, I love this. They're they're, they're doing a deal. Uh, uh, and uh, before they're, they're handing off, it's like, oh, you better get out of here. Oh, you, be, you better take this. Oh, yeah. Like, I was going to forget a briefcase <laughs> full of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is important. Not the smartest oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. they, they don't, they don't that these guys are geniuses. <laughs> so and we've got this yeah. dude. We're, we're getting right into it. We yeah, we may as well, man. It's, it's, it's just kind of, you know, you start off, the sting begins, and for some reason, all the criminals don't seem to mind that they're having the sting operation occurring on them right now. Turns out they have what kind of appears to be a super villain slash hero. Like he's, I kind of like that the design could really work for either. Um, it's but kind of this nondescript... Almost Spider-Man-ish yeah. or, or Power Ranger-ish Power kind of suit, design. Yeah. As we find out, his name is Firepower. Because... <laughs> the, the, he, well, you know, they could have been a. Is it, is it, he, he was he was just <laughs> sitting in the box, I guess, just 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 waiting. He's just living just in a cardboard just, box. He's in a box. living in a box. It's a marcher. <laughs> yeah, he was he was new in a box. What kind of box it, it, do you find was... in a marcher? Just to say. <laughs> yeah, he's having a good time. Yes, um, <laughs> it's true. It's a mortuary. So yeah. yeah. So we got. He's just working and, people, man. The biggest and part here. It was a box completely covered in zipatone. Yes. <laughs> did you actually sit here and cut? I wanted to ask, did you sit and, and cut out Zipatone for all these? Yes, or? this was pre digital. This is all taking little plastic sheets of Zipatone to do oh, all the wow. grayscale. Yeah. Whoa. Um, I'm There's very a lot happy to of work it. in Photoshop now. Yeah, yes. holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff is pretty amazing. I actually. have these original pages still. Really? So it's covered in little oh. cut up pieces of plastic. So, oh, so nice. after this video goes up, you can start selling it for mad cash because. Yeah! <laughs> It'd be alright. <coughs> but yeah. I when, knew that day would come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows? It might get revived, man. You get a self as. All you gotta do is get, get a get, movie deal. Yeah, it's not too hard, man. At least there get an go. option. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Hey, here's the thing nobody in Hollywood knows. 
who Eternity Comics is or was. All they know is it's a comic book. It's been um, around since 1989. They might have heard of a movie called Men in Black. They might have given it away. That's true. Oh, that's true. I that's forgot true. about that. That's true. That's a good thing, though. They just had a third sequel after like 12 years of nothing. A good one. They're still, yeah, they're Dang still interested. One, yeah, okay. yeah, man. If you want more of that? Start calling people, man. They don't yeah. care. Change, maybe change the date. No, don't change it. Well, oh, no, no, no. Street Heroes. Okay, there, there, there was Death Race 2000, and they remade it as Death Race. Yeah, this was Street Heroes. Yeah, just Street Heroes. Oh, yeah. See? Um, serious. All right, so what we have <laughs> here is that this, 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 this guy. Okay, so we, back, this guy back comes to this out. Guy. Yeah, back to the comic and book. He kills, <laughs> basically, he, he, he shoots dead two different cops. Is it supposed to be two of the same cops? two weeks from retirement. I mean. Were they? Were they? Yeah. Wait. No, I don't, know I don't that. think that was part of it. <laughs> Some They're people always got that. Were they, were they yeah. two weeks for retirement or getting too old for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank yes. you. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, essentially, we got here, the, the bad guys get away, uh, two cops are dead, and yep. the cops are just, you know, running with their tails. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but what was neat, though, was they have the part here where the main character... I believe the main character. Um, Davis. Davis, yeah. He, he actually gets to go and tell the widow of one of these cops that her husband's dead. And you see a nice little like picture there. You know, he had a whole family and everything. And I thought that was pretty neat because that's something that you don't normally ever see. Like, for example, in Batman. Like, Joker offs like 28 cops <laughs> oh, in about 12 no. seconds with some Joker gas. And even though, like, you know, Bullock is there, Commissioner Gordon is there, you never really see that this has any effect on the police station whatsoever. Oh, yeah. It, there's there's another moment later in the comic where there's mention of, do you know how much property damage Yeah, all the people, yeah. The, all there's repercussions to all this crazy yeah, it's, stuff it's that's happening. Yeah, cool it's quite cool. Paperwork? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're getting a, a basic a, a setup for our, our main protagonist. Yeah. Uh, which is, of course, Sergeant Davis here. Sergeant, wait, no, he's not Sergeant. Yes. He, he is, is Sergeant, Sergeant Davis. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I didn't screw it up. <laughs> With his beautiful mustache. Yes, yes, yes. In 2005, well, actually, his yeah, glorious are starting to sport, sport mustache. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did you know? Magic. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so, um. the mustache cover. So, it's, <laughs> instead of, like, the, the. lose a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Stash. There's stash, a box. Yeah. It says stash. stash. That's one of the cops that What's his name? Yeah. Yeah, stash I know. Stash. <laughs> stash. Awesome. stash. Ah. Hidden meanings I never appreciated at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so in, instead We're of an overweight, life. balding uh, captain grunting at him, we, we actually have a, a female uh, uh, captain here. Um, I haven't seen that since Forever Night. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's one totally thing that's where we ripped it me. Off from. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it came out several years later. Yeah, yeah I'll just say. That show is going to come out. Let's take that care of it. Yeah, I was like, how would you know that? <laughs> um, so we have, you know, basically, uh, we're still building this character, you know, real police stuff going on. Uh, she asks if he wants a counselor, if he wants to talk about it sort of thing. Uh, sorry for your loss sort of thing. You know, compassionate here. Then, well, well, well she's got to drop this bomb. Hey, we got, we got this... We got some guy waiting in your office. That he's going to be partnered with you, basically. And it's like <laughs> his name's Dan or something. No, oh, he, he's a Dan. He's, he's a Dan. Dan. And I, I'm not sure what. I wrote down a oh, wrote down is. a retort uh, something for that. I've never heard of someone's first name for proper reference used in the same exact time of prejudice being used. What? It's all this is Dan is like. There's a Keith waiting for you. Goddamn Keith or Jimmy Bob or you know just some guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what the heck they were talking about for such a while. Well, the the thing is, Dan in some circles is an acronym for dumbass yeah. racial slur. Yes, but there's and no decimal which... points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. But at the same, but, yeah, you also have a Caucasian character that happens to be talking about, which makes it. Uh, yeah, that, so really, it was kind of confusing. Yeah, that was sort of, sort of sort of bizarre out, but it worked out in the end. I figured that it, that turns out to kind of mean super <coughs> hard person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what 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 is the story behind the? Yeah, like, where'd you come up with Dan? Yeah. Um, so people with powers are not particularly well liked at this point. They're not trusted very well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Folks are still kind of used to the comic books where they would wear these outfits. So a slang that developed was a bunch of fancy Dan characters, and they just shortened it to Dan. Oh, yeah. shorter. 
Okay. 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 Nice. I was okay. I didn't, where yeah. <laughs> it's like you're, you're like. Plus, I hate anybody named Dan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doesn't have that name to at the end of it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know Dan. I, I, I still <laughs> think I'm looking at this. That, 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 that sounded like a burn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still like, thinking that this 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 like, panel here is fancy Dan's. Has to be a cover band for somebody. I just don't know who that. <laughs> Back in the fifties, maybe. Fancy yeah. dance. No, all I think of is Dapper Dan from. Uh, Dapper Dan. From from <laughs> Old Brother Where Up. Oh, looks like you're yeah. in a tight fix. We're gonna go with. Yes. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's Devil Dan. All right. Okay, so but, yeah, we let, let us proceed. Yeah, we'll continue we? with the story. Right. Yeah, we we should keep moving. Yeah. yeah. So basically, is. Uh, <laughs> You're getting a partner. You're gonna you're like getting, it. Yeah, you're getting another mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and his is larger than you. <laughs> yes. So here we have, with even a bigger mustache. So he's probably feeling a little intimidated at this point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see your mustache is larger than mine. No, I I, I, I remember this episode of Dexter's Laboratory where Dexter wants <laughs> to. He wants to have like a, a nobody's business beard, you know, just you know, just totally like summon the power of the beard. And there's this one part where he's just strutting around the police police like come up to him and like, Oh, you gotta help us. It's like it's like we got this hostage situation or whatever and like all these police officers are all there. It's like, Well, why did you just send them in? They only got mustaches. So there might be some sort of like power level in the in the facial hair <laughs> that I'm thinking about at this point. That was the eighties. That was yeah. all that was just default. <laughs> That's but life. I'm it? trying to follow so this who's, tangent who's, who's, somewhere. Who's right. Mm-hmm. Is, is there is there power in the facial hair? Clearly, man. Because look at I mean this dude. We'll see what he no. can do later. No. <laughs> Can't help oh. you on that one. Darn, I was wrong. In fact, we were told to get rid of the mustaches, and we didn't do it. Really? It was, yeah. Really? We, we were we were rebels. We was like, no. We won't. <laughs> no. Mustaches. Wasn't there? Are you going to cut? Wasn't their there hair? a concern that you wouldn't be able to tell the characters apart if they both had mustaches? What? That's what we were told. Yeah. Really? Wow. You got two heroes and they both had mustaches. It's like, yeah. yeah. Oh. When, when, there's, there a, when there's a page mustaches. when you can see them standing next to each other, that's yeah. really comical. The, the, there's uh, about 20 years, 20 to 30 years difference between their ages and their yeah. hair is completely different. And, and one's like a, almost a foot taller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and wider. Yeah. yeah. yeah and one, one, one is kind of Chuck Norris. Here, I mean, yes, they, they do look yeah. different. Good job. Very good job. Very good job. Very good job. Yeah. Thank you.